Sorry about that, guys. My phone is freezing. Gotta love YouTube. So this is some weekend energy for the air signs. I have Libra and Gemini left to do. Hopefully this thing doesn't freeze. So Gemini, your <clears throat> romance angel also card is unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going for some of you. Um, even though you're really attracted to someone, um, I feel like someone is walking away from this um, because maybe there's you have feelings for someone else or maybe it's just important for you to know that you deserve love um, to come into your life in the right way and um, the right time. Your intuitive message is Libra still holding on or not nah. it's your choice make one and stick to it so some of you guys really just already know that this isn't there isn't a whole lot of love in the situation you kind of maybe already walked away or maybe there's energy of kind of walking away and coming back and not making a decision totally um because of the attraction you have for this person you have the lover's card at the bottom so this talks about um Aww. you know a partnership there could have been maybe more than one option here Ooh. Yeah, please. Um, for then you have the judgment card so this really is about making a decision and kind of like having that conversation having the mental clarity um, the message on how this person feels is the two of wands with the seven oh, there's more than one card here Seven of Wands in reverse with Page of Pentacles. Um, this person kind of has their guard up to this right now. They're not really sure how to move this forward. I feel like um, they might be, they have an idea of what they want to do, but it's really stagnant. I feel like they maybe haven't made a decision. Um, they don't want to be in a situation where there's fighting and arguing and mind games anymore. I feel like someone's definitely moving out of this whether it's you or them and I feel like a break um, was definitely needed um, for one or both of you even though there's some strong um, feelings here I feel like there is another connection here for somebody but also for another part of you guys or another group of you guys this is about coming together with someone um, and not being defensive to them and kind of taking it slow with someone and I feel like there's um, more than one um, storyline here um, what they want you to know is the Fool card with the Knight of Wands in reverse. Um, I feel like someone wants to have a new beginning with you, but they feel like it's very um, in and out kind of sexual energy where someone just kind of um, might have be like sleeping like... There's a lot of sexual energy where this person might come in and out of your life um, and then it's like really good sex, but it's not really love. And I feel like this, and it's like comfortable for you guys, so it's hard for you to move on. But I just think like what this person really isn't saying is that I think that they're moving on. And I feel like um, for some of you guys and then for another group of you guys, there is this energy of things still kind of being undecided on which direction that you go in this. It's kind of your choice. But I do see you guys kind of waiting um, for this and waiting for a decision. Um, and I do see someone walking away as well. Um, whether or not it's from you or another person is also something that you need to think about because there could be someone that you're dealing with that needs to walk away from someone else that you've been waiting for. There's a couple different scenarios. Um, the best way forward is the Nine of Pentacles in reverse with the Temperance card and the Strength card in reverse. So I think that someone needs to balance out their emotions, um, balance out the situation, make sure that it's even, make sure that someone isn't only... Um, about themselves and it's not just a physical attraction um, you know kind of beating your own path like what it is that you want to do for yourself and yeah. then um, along with that kind of you know taking your power back and loving yourself and, and having confidence and the the courage and the strength to to move forward in whatever direction that it is that you decide because I feel like it's still something that you need to make a decision about and then 
your um, card is think about your feelings and it has the moon card. So I just feel like your feelings might not be something that you've kind of thought about. Maybe you just kind of, it's all about passion, but what is it that you want? What is it, how is it that you feel? What is it that you want to do? And then moving in that direction and kind of, you know, making that decision. Now we have Gemini. What is the message of Gemini? How does this person feel about them? What do they want them to know? What is the best way forward? Gemini, your romance angel oracle card is attraction. It says, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So basically they're saying, whoever it is that you're attracted to that maybe you kind of walked away from, maybe it's a soulmate, um, just enjoy it, you know, figure out what you like, what you want to do, you know, what it is that you want. Um, your message is Gemini. The ideas you have are worth actually exploring and acting on them. So just do it. What is the message? How does this person feel about Gemini? What do they want them to know? What is the best way forward? So the bottom is the Wheel of Fortune. So in the message that for the intuitive, if you guys have an idea about a business, I feel like it's going to be taking off for you or it could be really successful because for the message on how they feel, you have the Ace of Pentacles. This is a new opportunity for you, whether it's financial or someone spending more time with you. Shh. But I feel like this is kind of taking this opportunity. Um, someone wants you to take this opportunity, whether it's the universe or another person, you know, um, grabbing this when it comes in and acting on it. For, um, then you have the nine of cups because this person is really happy with you. This person is comfortable with you. Um, maybe this is something you could do from your home. Um, this is gonna bring you kind of uh, something that you a wish come true, you know, financial fulfillment. Um, being, I think it's a home business for some of you, um, with someone, you know, whatever kind of ideas that you have, um, what they want you to know is the eight of swords that maybe you need to change the way you're thinking about this. If you're thinking that it's not going to be a good outcome or you're not really able to see what the outcome of this would be, but the eight of swords talks about someone who is mentally conflicted, but they're, they're able to get out of this, that they're not stuck. They just feel like they are. And then you have the five of cups. This is kind of this lost regret. Maybe you guys took some losses in the past when it comes to friendships or <clears throat> opportunities. And then you have the king of swords. <clears throat> I feel like this person um, wants you to know that they're making a decision um, about this. And I think that when it comes down to clarity that they did um, in fact choose you, that you're the person that they want, or that you're gonna have more clarity about this person or the situation. Even though you've lost things, you still have um, a connection in the background. The best way forward is the five of wands in reverse. This is finding harmony in a situation where maybe there were fighting, maybe there are people involved, um, maybe there were some loss and regrets and grief, maybe there's an apology here. You know, making things work because then you have um, the hanged man with the justice card in reverse. I feel like this situation is something that you're still kind of really um, involved in, even though maybe there really hasn't been a fair decision made. Um, I think that there will be, but someone kind of needs to walk away from whatever past abandonment or withdrawal things that are here because then you have um, the lover's card. So I do see um, a connection here that's guided for you guys that's pretty relevant, that there is happiness, that there is kind of coming out of um, a situation maybe that wasn't so happy that it could be different in the future and the best way forward is to you know, let the angels take over and, and take the opportunities that are brought into your life. <clears throat> your card is quick action that you need to think about with the Ten of Pentacles. So this is a lot of money for you. So just remember that. And my fucking phone froze again. Anyways, that's all I have for the air signs. Have a good day.